What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. And I'm starting a new series on the channel for all the real metalheads out there. And by metalheads, I mean you're uh, addicted to knives like I am. You know. Of course, I like metal music also, but we're using that term for knives today. The new series is going to be called Versus, and what I'm going to do is put two knives against each other and give you the specs and details and my thoughts on which one I like better and why and which one I think is a better deal. And episode one is going to feature the Fair and Forge Archbishop, get that sticker out there, and the Artisan Cutley, Cutlery Arion. First thing we're going to start out with is the Ting, because there's a clear winner here. I'm going to open these by the mic, and you can tell me which one's better. I'll do three of each. Okay, here, that one didn't count. All right, that is the Archbishop, and here comes the Arion. To me, the Arion is the clear winner there. The Ting on the Arion is just something else, man. It sounds so good when you deploy it. <clears throat> and then, also want to let you know that this is my knife. This knife is in on loan from Saigon Kick 2018. And when I bought this knife, the Arion, I was going back and forth between these two knives. This is the other one I was going to, I kept going back and forth. Which one do I want more? Which one do I think I like more? And um, the look of this one drew me in more. This one I thought the finger choil I'd like more, and the ergos I'd probably like more, but I didn't think the ergos would be bad on this. And the ergos aren't bad on this. If you guys follow the channel, you know I have arthritis in my knuckles, so this knife can be a little rough. Although my, it's not flared up right now, so right now it's not bothering me at all to uh, hold this knife. Some days it does though, if the arthritis is real flare, flared up, but that won't be a problem for other people. Um, this is a larger knife too though, a longer knife as you can see quite a bit longer although well not that much longer maybe a half inch longer although this one in hand here the scales are more contoured on the archbishop um and you also like i said you have that forward finger choil it's really comfortable up there especially with that jimping it's comfortable back here also don't even feel the pocket clip i mean you feel the pocket clip you know it's there but it's not a hot spot it's not going to be uncomfortable at all very comfortable in hand it's a good day to do this because my arthritis is not bothering me, so I can do the same thing here. Now, you can't choke up on this. There is no forward finger choil, but this feels really good in hand, too. And you you don't even notice the pocket clip in this one because the pocket clip is dead center, and this is kind of wide, so it's dead center and short, and um, yeah, you don't even realize it's there at all. Super, super comfy. Now, both of these knives are in 20 CV steel, and this one is coated, but you can get other versions that aren't coated. This one is, uh, mm, I'm not sure if that's some type of acid etch or what's going on with it, but both 20 V still, CV still. Action. Action, I'm going to give it to the Archbishop um, for a couple reasons. The reverse flick is better. You also have the flipper tab with the Archbishop, right? And you could probably thumb flick this if you really wanted to, but... It would be difficult. It's not intended to do that. It's such an awkward position with the hole to get your thumb in there. But the reverse flick is just freaking fantastic on this thing. The Arion reverse flick is also freaking fantastic. Really good. But that is your only deployment option with this one. You can't thumb flick this knife. You can't. I mean, you can, okay? But it takes a lot of work and you get a can torch your thumb to get it in there in the right spot. As long as you keep your thumb down here at the bottom of the hole, you can you can get it pretty pretty good. But the reverse flick is far better on this knife than the thumb flick. Now let me try that thumb flick again on that archbishop down at the bottom of the hole. If I can get it in there. Yeah, see I can get it. As long as you stay at the bottom with both knives, you can thumb flick them. But it's not comfortable to do either one. I would give them a tie on the thumb flick. The benefit for some, well, see, here's the thing. I'm not going to use a flipper tab. So for me personally, I, I would like this knife better without the flipper tab. 
All I'm going to do is reverse flick it. But I know a lot of people like flippers, so something to consider. So instead of giving the Archbishop a victory, I'm going to call it a tie on action. Because for me, it's just for reverse flicking. And yeah, the Arion is really good. Really good. And that ting, that sound. You guys hear that sound this knife makes? It's a great, great sound. And it's it's pretty loud. I mean, you hear that ting from across the house if someone deploys that knife. So it's uh, pr pretty, pretty loud. All right. I'm going to sit them next to each other and give you some specs on both. Although you can compare them to each other, I will give you... Uh, these are from Blade HQ. That's where I bought the Arion. I'm not sure where uh, Craig bought the Archbishop at. Overall length on the Arion is 8.375 inches. Blade length is 3.6 inches. My laptop is going nuts right now. Okay, time out. Okay. Uh, cutting edge is 3.6, oh, same. Uh, blade width is an inch and a quarter on the Arion. Blade thickness is super, it's slicey, 120 thousandths. So that's something else we're going to touch on in a minute between the two knives. Uh, spear point blade, flat grind. This one's finished with, uh, I'm not sure if it's a DLC finish or what type of finish it is. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's DLC or something else or PVD. I'm honestly not sure. Titanium frame lock, titanium pocket clip, uh, titanium backspacer, all titanium hardware. Still lock bar insert. Um, the weight is four and a half ounces on the Arion. Okay, Archbishop. Overall length is eight inches. Blade length is 3.5 inches. But what the, the cutting edge is only three inches on this. So that finger tool, you're losing a half an inch to where on the Arion, it's all cutting edge. This one is a drop point blade. C uh, CPM 20 CV also. Bead blast stone wash finish on this blade. Uh, handle length is four and a half inches. Handle length on the Arion is 4.75 inches. That's where the additional length is at. Um, blade thickness on this one, or uh, that can't be right. Handle width is 0.95 inch. Blade thickness is a half an inch. That's not right. I'm not sure what they're talking about there. Uh, maybe the handle thickness, half an inch. Yeah, I think they meant the handle right here. Uh, gray, fi gray stone wash finish on the titanium on this one. Weight's 4.7 ounces. So this one's a little bigger, but it's also a little bit lighter also. Both are on ceramic cage ball bearings. Um, both frame locks, titanium frame locks. Um, yeah, both two premium knives from from their manufacturers, from Artisan Cutlery and from Fair and Forge. So here's the other thing on the cut with the cutting edge. Look at the thickness comparison between these two. The Arion is much better slicer. It's going to slice through material really, really, really well. Um, the Archbishop will do well, but it's not a full flat grind. If there are there is a flat up here around the uh, thumb hole, same with the Arion, it flattens out right here with the thumb hole. Um, but this is a much, much thinner blade than this blade. This is going to be a much better slicer and piercer. So cutting performance will be better on the Arion for sure. Um, and uh, But this blade would probably take more of a beating. You know, you could hard use this Archbishop blade. You could harder use it than you could use the Arion blade is what I'm trying to say. Because uh, this is such a thin blade. But they kept it pretty thick out at the tip here. Um, it stays pretty thick here. So it's not terribly fragile and this one's a little it's about the same same size at the tip but this one gets broader faster where this one the Arion I mean it's, it stays pretty thin all the way super super slicey blade on this one um, price the Arion is $200 the Archbishop on Blade HQ right now is $280 which is high because on Amazon right now, you can get the Archbishop uh, 240 or 250, I think it is. Somewhere between t between 240 and 250. So um, I would say value-wise, money-wise, the Arion wins for sure. Um, you get more knife. You're getting a slicier blade. You're getting it for at least $50 less, if not $80 less, depending on where you buy it. Same blade still, uh, same overall materials, very similar profiles, 
very, very similar profiles. Um, this, the handles on this one are more contoured than this one. These are more flat, and this is a much thinner handle, as you can see. Um, let's close them up so I don't cut myself again. Um, it's, it's broader at the butt here, the knife, so, but not by much. But you can see the Archbishop is quite a bit thicker than the Orion, especially in the middle here. It's hard to tell. It's hard to get them to line up. Because it's because of that contouring, it's quite a bit fatter, which does give it better ergos. Not that this one has bad ergos, it just definitely does make it feel more comfortable in hand. Um, this one has just been cleaned and relubed. I just did that to this knife. I have not even disassembled this knife or done anything to it from the factory because it's not a knife I was intending to keep, so I didn't want to take it apart or do much with it if I'm going to trade it or sell it. So. But this is from the factory action here. Really good action. Detent ramp on this one. Detent break on this one. Right there. But, you know, once you get past it, she goes. She's going by. It's easy enough to push it past it at the beginning where you don't have to hit it again. This one, detent break. It's instant. It's right there. That's your detent break on the Archbishop. Super early, which I like. so early that it almost wants to relock if you don't keep going and just go past it like that. So super, super early. Um, the detent, Archbishop detent, it's good. It's really good. I can just tell you that now. There's no detent lash at all. Same with the, Ar the Arion. It has a slightly lighter detent than the Archbishop. And I have a slight amount of detent lash here, just a slight amount. Again, I have not done anything to this knife yet. I may need to tighten a pivot on it. it. Hasn't been disassembled at all. But that sound, man. That sound. All right, which one would I say is the better deal? Well, pretty to me, it's pretty obvious which one is a better value. It's the Arion. I mean, same blade still, same materials, more knife uh, for 30% less in price. Um, yeah, and you you don't have to get this one murdered out. You can get it in multiple different finishes. Um, I think the Arion is the better deal for most people. And I think most people would be just as happy with the Arion as the Archbishop, unless you like to really choke up on your knife. If you like to really choke up on your knife, then you may prefer the Archbishop. Um, it gets you up closer to the blade, for sure. Um, but, you know, if you're just doing normal slicey task and package opening and that kind of stuff, yeah, I would go with the Arion. And there are bu budget versions of both these knives. There are, uh, like, micarta versions of both, and uh, you can get them for, like, you get Archbishop for, like, 70 bucks, $75. The same with Arion, right in the same price range. $65, $70, you can get a micarta version. Um, can't remember the steels. I think this one's the AARPM... I can't remember the artisan cutlery still the one they make themselves and the archbishop budget version and i'll tell you what it is just a second here bear with me actually blade hq doesn't have any of them uh, only ones they have are the premium versions so i'm not sure but just look around you can get a uh, a budget version of both knives so these are the the top of the line for both lines knives Mm. Both really good knives, I gotta say. You couldn't go wrong with either one of these. Um, but if you like that ting, like I do, and that shocked me about this knife. I didn't buy it for that reason. I had no idea it would do that. I don't know if that's the coating that's on it that makes it do that, but just such a pronounced ting. One other thing to bring up to lock bar. Lock bar access is cut out better on the uh, Archbishop as you can see, um, very comfortable, kind of stiff, not terribly stiff, but a little stiff. Of course, this knife is new, and this one's practically new too. And you have much less to get in on the, this one, but you get in there fine somehow. It's going to be hard with this knife being black to show this, but on both scales, there's little cutouts on both sides, right where the lock bar is at. They let you get your thumb in there and 
it's actually not a problem at all getting in there and it's a smoother lock bar on the Orion for sure it's much easier to push it over much less pressure required so all right guys I think that's gonna do it that's gonna be episode one of versus hopefully I can work this out and make turn this into something a little better episode two is going to experience it's going to put the Demco 8020.5 next to the Winter Blade Co. Factor. Um, a lot of similarities there that most people may not realize. And uh, it's going to be a surprising outcome in that one, I think. So, yeah, that's going to be episode two. So keep an eye out for that. Let me leave your comments below. Let me know if you have either of these knives, both of these knives. Uh, wh which one do you like better? What do you think about the one you have? If you don't have either one, which one do you think is a better deal? Or which one do you like better? just aesthetically yeah comment down below hit that like button subscribe if you are new and i will see you on the next one